There are some truly legendary CSGO skins out there. Crazy pieces of digital gold that command insane prices. Is it all only marginally less stupid than NFTs? Maybe, but hey, prices have not gone down yet, so we're winning so far. But not every skin out there has enjoyed such a glorious history. In fact, some of them have been so bad that Valve have felt the need to cancel them. These are the skins and cases and other things that absolutely nobody loved, and we are gonna be telling their tragic tales. Now, this video is sponsored by my cash trading business. I buy skins, hit me up on Twitter if you wanna sell something, that's it, that's the plug, let's move on. So, first of all, we've got the baggage collection. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I like this collection. I think it has some banger skins, and I know I'm not the only person who feels like that either. Jet Set, amazing skin. But I also know that when it first came out, it was not very popular. It initially launched as part of Operation Breakout alongside two much more famous collections, Cobblestone and Overpass. This just say that its skins weren't exactly the most expensive from that operation. Now, the baggage collection wasn't left to die immediately. Operation Breakout was pretty short and it was brought back for Operation Vanguard a few months later. But this was the last we'd ever see of the baggage skins. The Cobblestone and Overpass collections would feature in three more operations afterwards, but baggage was never seen again. And the most likely explanation is simply that Valve felt the collection was catastrophically unpopular and substituted it for several flashier new collections when Operation Bloodhound rolled around, cancelled for not being pretty enough, basically. Next up, we have the Revolver case. And it may be a surprise seeing it show up here. It is a very, very popular case these days. But the truth is, it was not very popular when it first released. Now, it's not clear why people hated this thing so much. It may just have been due to its association with the R8, a weapon that broke CSGO when it was first released and was universally hated by the community. But it also probably didn't help that the case had the OG knives in it, which were widely seen as kind of dated and bland back in 2015. Today, that's its number one feature, but back when the case came out, having these knives was an anchor around its neck. And the revolver case immediately stopped being an active drop as soon as there was a case to replace it. Since then, its fortunes have had a complete turnaround, but at the time, it bombed harder than Heroic in a semi-finals. So this brings us to the next thing to be unceremoniously cut from CSGO, and that is tradable keys. You can no longer buy tradable or marketable keys in CSGO. They used to be the literal backbone of the economy used in huge numbers of trades. Now, the only ones left are simply collector's pieces. So why did Valve nuke one of the most useful things in CSGO trading? Well, it's because keys weren't just used for traders. They were also extremely useful for anyone who felt like doing a bit of money laundering. That plus some very frustrating exchange rate issues which devalued keys led to Valve releasing an update in 2019 that made all future keys untradeable and unmarketable. It was kind of a shame, although it didn't really have a big impact in the grand scheme of things. Now, next up, we've got the Stockholm patches. And the Stockholm patches are extremely unique because after the Stockholm Major, Valve completely canned the idea of patches at Majors and they've never been revisited since. Patches were an obvious natural inclusion at Majors after Valve released them in early 2020. It ended up taking a while for that to happen thanks to a minor infectious outbreak in Wuhan, China that delayed Majors for a couple of years, but it did happen. And then it never happened again. So why did Valve decide against releasing patches at future Majors? Well, Probably because patches have never been very popular and they wouldn't have sold very well, leading them to decide they simply weren't worth the effort at future majors. Anyway, this brings us to another thing that was cancelled after the Stockholm Major, and this is the foil stickers. Once upon a time, foils were a big important thing at the Major, so the best stickers you could get. But ever since the Antwerp Major, they haven't been a thing. Hollows have been promoted to be the new exotic sticker, and Glitter stickers have taken the old spot of hollows. So what then Valve to cut foils? Well, it was probably a few things. Firstly, gold stickers became a thing, and this kind of led foils being overshadowed in the capsules. Valve may also have felt that major stickers were getting a bit boring anyway and needed to be shaken up, and on top of that, 
The Stockholm foils, given they were five times rarer than the hollows, weren't that popular. They were only marginally more expensive than hollows from the same major. The, the dirty truth is, people just didn't like the foils that much. They kind of sucked compared to a good hollow. And that is probably the reason why Valve doesn't release them anymore. Now, this brings us to the next skin to get cancelled, and this was a really, really specific type of skin. Skins for storage units. These were introduced at IEM Rio. They cost an arm and a leg, and were loaded up with stickers that weren't anywhere near close to the price. Arrow did a breakdown of it at the time, and the results were not exactly flattering, as you can probably tell by the title of his video. And given what I can only assume were pretty dismal sales results, Valve did not bring these things back at the next major. It's kind of a shame, honestly, too. Unique storage units are a cool idea, just not like this. But unfortunately, it looks like they're going to stay cancelled for the foreseeable future. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.